Hey everybody, thanks for watching PoliceTube. I'm going to start the beginning of this video off a little slowly here because I don't want to trip any of the YouTube filters. Now this video is going to be the top Jeremy DeWitt moments in my mind. As you know, I've been working on Jeremy DeWitt videos for one year now as of April 8th. From 2021 to 2022, I've been working on Jeremy DeWitt videos every single day. And so I've come across a lot of videos and I have a lot of memories queued up in my mind. And I want to lay some of those out here for us right now in no particular order. Now, this first video that we're going to watch is Jeremy DeWitt thinking he's doing a good service during a funeral escort. He's going to tell some kids to stay on the sidewalk. It's a little weird. Let's watch this. Number 20. to the side, okay? Hi guys. Kids on the street. He says kids on the block. We have kids on the block. So thank you, Jeremy, for knowing the rules and knowing that the kids need to stay to the side. Let's go to the next video. Get out. Turn. Now. Let's go. Number 19. Nope, not yet. Last car isn't here. We're starting off slow here to appease the YouTube filters. This one you may remember is Jeremy's ex-girlfriend, Jessica. Last time will be here in about 10 cars. She's helping out with a malfunctioning kickstand. This is a two-part video because we're going to see her helping out with it, and then we're going to see Jeremy later dealing with it. Let's go ahead and watch. I got your back. No, I don't have good car. I don't think there's one in there. It was a white van, taxi van. I did. Oh, wait, hold on. A white taxi van. That Nissan Rogue turned off, so it's the white taxi van. It should have been to you guys already. All right, we got to go. Hold I don't on, have I a figure zip out how to take this up. I can't. The, the kickstand, every time it drops, it'll cut the bike okay, off. Okay, hurry up. Watch your backside, nurse. What? I'm already giving my keychain up. I'm taking apart my keychain. Oh, there you go, baby. Should have. Things we do. It broke, bro? Yeah, it looks like the spring. Yeah, Where's the, the spring broke. Okay. The spring. Um, is that a piece to it there? Hold it up now? Yeah, hold it up.
That's what I'm gonna start doing, putting zip ties in the bike. Yeah, At least three important. each. So this little thing. Alright. Ready? Here. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Okay, good thing she was there to help with that, but unfortunately I have another video here, which is the other part of this, where Jeremy is alone and he has to deal with his kickstand by himself. So let's go ahead and cut over to that part of this part of the video. And once again, thanks for watching Police Tube. Now, keep in mind, Jeremy could make this repair at his shop at any time and replace these springs and make sure that the bikes are in functioning order, but he doesn't. Sutters, tell me when you're rolling. That's not what I asked. All right, it's, I got to fix. So let's flip around. Flip it, Sutters, Jesus. Cut the fucking guy off. I don't give a fuck. Okay, you didn't have to curb it, dog. You didn't have to curb it, bruh. Come on, man. Hurry up. And then you curb it again. Jesus fucking Christ. Holy fuck. What in the fuck? I always thought those two videos were funny. The other video, number 18, that I really like is this Jeremy DeWitt smoking marijuana where he's pretending to be a police officer for some university skit. Let's go ahead and watch. I'm doing good, officer. How are you? You know why I stopped you? Man, usually I'm not a speeder. I, um, you know, I have no idea how fast I was going. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Speed? Yeah. What are you talking? You've been sitting here for 20 minutes. I'm gonna need to see some license and registration, please. Here you go, sir. Stay here, don't move. Hey man, dude, I just got pulled over. Dude, I got butt in the car, man. The cop took my ID, dude, like a good neighbor. I need you right now. Man. I know. That one is a classic. Now, one of my other favorite Jeremy DeWitt videos that I can remember is when he called the police on the haters from YouTube. You guys remember that one? So this is one of my other favorite ones. Number 17. Broken into at the office um, and so on and so forth. And I was told by an officer that responded to a call that because our one of our employee ex-employees that was fired due to theft um, admitted to stealing our equipment on an interview with another officer on another re unrelated case. Um, and uh, while he was talking to us, we explained it to him and he said to that we needed to file a report for the harassment because we've asked multiple times for it to stop, yet 
it's not him just posting things on the internet about me, which anyone can do, but it's, it's the way he's posting it and saying it's me and saying that I'm doing this and then saying that I'm sleeping with these people or I'm doing this to children or whatever the case may be. And he's saying that that's true, which is creating a serious harassment situation, even though we've contacted him a few times and asked him to cease and assist. Gotcha. So the report says Jay Horowitz. That is correct. Do you know this person? I don't. And, and I've never, people keep asking me the same question. If I know him, if he ever worked for me, I don't know this guy from Adam. Um, I do know he lives in Tampa or Clearwater. Um, uh, that's from what has been told to him or told to me via resources that people have, you know, communicated with him and things of that nature. Okay. So how do you know it's him? Because it's his website. It's his, it's his YouTube channel. Does he identify himself on the YouTube channel? Yes, sir. Multiple times. Okay. And he's also identified himself on another unrelated web page. He identifies himself and it's his email account and it's his uh, username and things of that nature uh, where he makes statements and comments on another web page that is now slowly currently finding out the evidence is being fabricated and as kind of started to be on my side more, I guess. And he's making comments from his own channel, from his own YouTube channel and his own email uh, with him making statements there as well. So what is he, like, what is he doing? I mean, I've seen some of these videos of you in Metro State. I mean, it just seems like a whole lot of commentary and it just seems like your videos that he he's collected throughout the years and just posted on YouTube. What am I well, doing? what he's doing is he's editing those videos because that is those aren't anywhere, shape, or form showing the whole aspect of what's happening. Um, that's one. Two. Uh, again, he's now there's multiple times where he's saying that I've I, <laughs> it's in, it's embarrassing, but whatever. Saying that I'm gay and that I have sex with transvestites and things like that, and those things have never happened. Not that I think that there's. I mean, whatever love is, whatever it's somebody else finds. Right. right. I mean, you know. So, and it's um, it's getting under- they're harassed. Hey. Okay. Right. I mean, and then I mm-hmm, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. Let me interrupt. And then he also he also um, posted a an interview supposedly of supposed my supposed victim that I supposedly raped and all this good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm a sex offender, but the girl lied to me and she had a fake ID and. I I was 24 years old and she was turning 16, so I got fucked on that. But uh, whoever he hired or whoever he paid to act as that person, um, he interviews her and tells her, you know, he tells her what to say and he's asking questions in the in the in the interview, um, you know, just things like that. I mean, for face value, none of this stuff seems illegal. I mean, it just, you know, when you're having an issue on Ashley Madison. Uh, Believe it or not, she is. Okay. I know. Isn't that crazy? But It is crazy because at the time, she was harassing you and you were married. Yeah. And now she works for you. Well, she doesn't really per se work for me as an employee. She works for me. She does a lot of secretarial things for me and she does a lot of things where she's correcting a lot of issues and she has a lot of contacts that I don't have that seem to be giving her proper information. So I got to tell you, man, like we hey, go, we go I back agree. and forth. We go back and forth about all these things. And a lot of this drama, I, it's yeah. like, I, ha- I, I experienced firsthand with you when I'm on the phone and you know, two years ago when we spoke, she was the girl that was harassing you with text messages um, trying to get in the middle of you and your wife, and now she's working for you. And it, believe it or not, she's the one that's actually showing the proof. She's the only one that's showing the truth at this point. I hear you, and I, I'm just as confused as you. To, to be honest with you, I'm just as confused as you. I, and one of the things that she's relayed to me is that she felt remorse for the things that she has done. Um, and but she's the only one that's actually showing the truth or finding the truth right now. Nobody else seems to care. 
every other cop and Joe and Dick and Harry right now just hopes that I burned in, in prison. And in fact, the reality is, is I've never told anyone I'm a cop and never pulled anyone over. So all I've ever done is the same funeral escorts I've been doing for 10 years. So I, I, she's the only one that's finding the truth where the lies are being made on police statements and then being lied to a judge where we actually have two different affidavits from the same officer with different storylines. It's, it's confusing, and I understand what you're saying. Trust me, I'm it's just blown away as you. Because once we start making these reports and we start documenting mm-hmm. them, they're just contradictory to what I dealt with two years ago. And that's that's where that's the problem is that you start to lose that credibility that you had initially with the with me when you were dealing with me two years ago, and now now this whole situation is you know you were pretty adamant that that she was stalking you and all these things and trying to you know disrupt your life two years ago and now she's the manager of your company. She sounds like no she no no it. no she's not a manager no she sounds like no. she runs it. No, no, no. Everything's no, good. what she's doing what? is no, no, nothing. Not everything's good. Trust me. What she's doing is, is she's trying to fix the wrongs that she's created. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, she's talking to the people that are somehow connected to this Jay Horowitz guy. Uh, that's my understanding. And you don't think I don't talk to her on a regular basis. And, and she's oh. employed, or she. She's not employed. I don't know, but she she does. No, she's not an employee, but okay. she does do a lot of things for my company. The pro- what she's doing mostly is correcting the lies that are being out there. So she's dealing with that over there. I barely talk to her. She deals with other people that she works with. There's some kind of investigation or some kind of group that they're finding the truth and all that, and she only communicates with me here and there. But one of the things that she did show to me was all the stuff that's happening and all the stuff that are being stated about me. And then she said that it was about her as well. So she filed as well because the officer advised me that I should tell them to file as well. So I did. All right, man. Well, um, you know, I'll touch base with her. Um, you know, just you, you know what you can, you can't do. And, and just go with that. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm not involved in any of the other stuff that you're going on, that you got going on. So I'll deal with what we got here, okay? All right, sounds good, detective. Jeremy really wasn't getting any help from that detective because the detective knows that you know what he's reporting is just kind of irritating and not necessarily a criminal offense. So let's go ahead and get into the next favorite video of mine, number 16, which is where he's confronted by Sergeant Vittler for having so many red lights. Jeremy, you saying it's with insurance? Okay, come here. Oh, hold on, Sergeant. No, no, turn them off. Hold on, Sergeant. No, turn the lights off now. Oh, okay. Go turn them off. Okay, Sergeant. I didn't tell you to turn them on. Yes, Sergeant. But Sergeant, they're orange. This is all red. Okay, this Sergeant. is red, 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 red. Red, 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 red. Okay, we just had a court case and we won. Yeah. Okay, a no, no, judge, no. With all due respect, a judge Sergeant, told you you could not have the red. With all due respect, Sergeant, you won because the, ju- the lawyer wasn't sufficiently prepared. Give me here. Sergeant, Sergeant, hold okay, on. Okay, go ahead. Go. No. There's no discussion, Jeremy. Sergeant. Jeremy. Steve Foster, Steve Foster with the yeah, sheriff. I'm not even going to discuss it. Go ahead and sit in your vehicle until Sergeant. I'm done. Sergeant, I'm talking. What state statute say? Amber or purple? Amber Actually, or I a, purple. I got an email from FHP and I can show it to you right now if you like that says we can use Hey Jeremy, colors. Jeremy, show your show me your state certification for your agency. What are you talking about? You now? tell everybody your state certified agency we works. Have our state license from the state of Florida. Right? No, you don't. Yes, There's no do. state license. We're LLC in the state of that's, Florida. That's not a state certified agency. That you go ahead and sit in your vehicle. As you can see, Viddler's not having any of Jeremy's manipulation there. Now, this video took place March 14th, 2020. This is the last time that Viddler had saw or had any interaction with Jeremy up until the arrest for the pepper ball gun on the I-4 highway over a year later on March 23rd of 2021. Yet, Jeremy claims that Viddler has been stalking and harassing and been obsessed with Jeremy this whole time. The fact of the matter is Jeremy had been harassing and doing aggravating assault against a number of innocent civilians and been out directing traffic like a law enforcement 
officer. So we're going to go over some of those videos now, some of the ones that are most prevalent in my mind, starting with number 15. Can you guess which incident this one is? Let me know when you know. I just cut across. Motor one's moving. I, I don't know where the last is, and it's all cut off. It's not staying together. It's not fucking keeping up. Last year was a silver. What does it look like I'm doing, dumb fuck? Get the fuck over before you find out. Stop pretending you're a police officer. Listen, Stop motherfucker. It. I know what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. What you need to do is figure it the fuck out before you start talking shit and cutting us off. I'm not Dude, cutting anyone off. Go ahead and pull your little phone out. I'm not cutting Do your little Google off. search and figure out what we're doing and what I we legally what allow. Doing. Good. Then back off and give us room. I'm not, you're a, I'm not interfering with you at all. You are. You by are running blocking, along. You've been blocking traffic. Yeah, I need you to stay to the side, sir. That's what the legal I'm law is. The Go back and look it up. 316. Call the Good. I'm call call the sheriff it. now. Please. 911 right now. I'm not calling 911. Go ahead. Call the 911 right now. I'm not going to call 911. Tell them it's, it's on video emergency. too. Let them know all of us it's on video. We also have your tag number. So please let me know. Watch this fucking guy. This is the blue car guy incident, and that guy knew right away that Jeremy was pretending to be a police officer. Let's go ahead and go to the next video where Jeremy purposely runs into a minivan. Number 14. Hey, what's your problem? He looked at me and waved me on. Sit tight. Yeah, no shit. Go, Dylan. Hey! What are you fucking doing? Stop! Yeah, the black Toyota Tacoma, I don't know where he went. You okay there? You okay? No, I hit my foot on your car because you fucking wouldn't stop. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Let's go ahead and cut to the next favorite video of mine where Jeremy pulls a whole bunch of cars over in the smallest amount of time imaginable. Number 13. I got it. Go past me. Yep. Photo, you're going to have to use the turning lane. Over here now! Pull your car here now! Get out of the fucking way! Move your fucking car! Stay there! I, 
dude, I don't give a shit. Come here. Come here. Right here. Right here. Stay there, please. These guys are killing me today. Come here. Right here. Right here! Get out of the way! Stop! Fuck it! Right here! Right here! Right here! Right here! Right here! Right here! All four of you! Show some fucking respect! It's a fucking funeral, you disrespectful fucks! Fucking A! When your mom or grandma dies, I hope they cut into you too! Wow, Jeremy, those really are some harsh words, but not as harsh as his words for the next motorcycle rider in this next video that's one of my favorite indictments of Jeremy DeWitt. Number 12. Get out of my fucking funeral now! Get out of my funeral now! Get out of my funeral now! Get out of my funeral now! We didn't know which way to go! Get out of the fucking way now! Move your bike to the side! Now! And stay there till we're clear! Or I'm gonna take you down myself! Stop your vehicle! I'm not gonna tell you again! Sir! I'm not gonna fucking tell you again! Stay right fucking there! Stay right fucking there! Who the fuck do you think you are? I don't know what the fuck's going on! How do you fucking not know with all the sirens and lights, you lying motherfucker? What'd you call me? You heard me! Stay right there! What did you call me? What did you call me? What part do you not understand? Stay there! Of course, we all know that Jeremy claims to have never pulled anybody over or used a siren or anything like that, but this video right here was intense. Don't you agree? Let's go to the next video where he does aggravated assault again, known as the silver truck guy. Number 11. Sit tight. What's wrong, sir? What's wrong? I'm sorry? Are you okay? I'm afraid, are you law enforcement? I'm asking you a question, are you okay? If you're not law enforcement, I'm not stopping for you. Listen, if you keep going, we'll figure it out real fast. Let's figure it out real fast. Florida Statute 316-1974 says we have sir? the right of way with are emergency you vehicles. You need to sit tight, sir. No, I don't. You need to sit are tight. You? Answer my question. I'm videotaping everything right now. Care. I'll get your tag number. If you continue the way you are, I'm we'll have to take care of the situation. I need you to sit tight. Would you let me speak? If you're law enforcement, identify yourself to me. What agency? We're with Metro State. We're a state certified agency. You sit right there, please, sir. You Thank the, you. Do you have the, can you write me a citation? Excuse me. Come on, man. Get out of the fucking way. I got to deal with this fucking idiot. Move. Sit tight, sir. Please don't continue. Fuck you. Hey, fuck boy. Hey, piece of shit, fuck Please boy. Motherfuck, fuck boy. Go, cars go. I got this shit. Let's fucking go. But that's not all. Sometimes Jeremy puts himself in harm's way and jumps directly in front of vehicles, especially black trucks as they're coming at him. And then he likes to sue or file complaints. Let's watch number 10. You, let's go. You, let's go.
Over here. Get out of the way now, asshole! I got a black F-150. Black F-150. Get him out now. He just tried to run me over. Last vehicle's 97. Motor 1's moving. funeral i don't give a fuck i don't care you're a cop i don't give a shit this is still a florida statute a, a approved escort please sir nobody's committing shit on you you're cutting into my funeral on body camera all of us are recording thank you for your time watch that light it's cycling red Now, as you know, Jeremy trains all of his men, including his brother. So let's go ahead and watch his brother jump in front of some black trucks in number nine. This video showed Dylan and Jerome Hinnon in an exchange, and Dylan in Metro State is currently suing Jerome Hinnon for hitting him with the vehicle, even though he didn't. It's Dylan's fault. Jeremy also claims innocence in this next video. Number eight. The fight with the guy in the Porsche. Hi. How are you today? You must have missed that it's 45 through there, and then you use the turning lane to cut through traffic. Yep. I understand you're in a nice car and everything, but let's be a little nice more car. mature the way you drive. It. Let's nice drive car. the right are way you then. A, are you a cop? Don't worry about what I am, because oh, no. I'm a state agent. So yeah, well, what you need not. to do is make sure you're doing the right thing, fuck boy. He's with that bullshit, but he ain't about that life. Fuck boy? Yeah. That's real nice. Yeah, I know. The way you almost hit me, fuck boy, oh, yeah, is you know, the way it's professional, bitch ass. You're not a cop. You, you wanna fight? Fu How's you that? Don't even act like you're fucking stopping me. I didn't pull you over. Did I make a traffic fuck stop off. on you, fuck boy? Fuck off. 
Yeah, you're lucky I don't get out and beat. Come on, let's go, bitch. Get out your fucking car. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Fuck boy. Get out. I'm calling you out, bitch. That's what I thought. Yeah, get out anytime. I got off my bike. Okay, fucker. Oh, anywhere you want to go. Right there. We go straight, bitch. Light green, pussy fuck. Go ahead. As you know, Jeremy never pursued him because Jeremy's really not about that life. He likes picking on innocent people, just like in this next video, the silver car guy. Where the fuck are you going? Number seven. Fucking car over! Pull over! Get out of the way! Move your fuck! Get your fucking car out of the way now! I don't give a fuck what you don't understand! Pull forward now! Pull forward now! What the fuck is your problem? I didn't know what your what's the problem back there. Sit there. Resi out hill, move here. Now that one really was just egregious, wasn't it? Now let's go ahead and do some honorable mentions here. The so wiretap. What you're saying is, is my four units went into an intersection honking their horns, and because you've never heard of us and you don't understand what we're just honking the horns, they were stopping traffic. Right. So because if you never heard of us, look, buddy, don't get sassy with me. I'm not getting okay. sassy. I'm asking simple questions. Right. No, I'm not gonna do this, okay? uh, uh, hold on, I wasn't done. Well, you okay? You may not be done, but I may be. Well, I am not an idiot. Oh, okay. Well, then, ma'am, if you're not an idiot, then why would you make accusations without having proper information? I would absolutely make accusations when you've got people that are stopping traffic without anybody to stop traffic for. Right. Per Florida okay. statute, so we can I stop traffic for a funeral. Okay. Uh huh. Listen to me. We're done. Oh, okay. Back, okay. I don't really give a fuck what you get me from your attorney, bitch. That one actually got him in a lot of trouble. How about this one, the crash for no reason? As you know, there's always a reason for everything. Hey. Just like in this next video where Jeremy has to push start his bike oh, in front of please. real police officers your bikes off and he blames his men. Don't leave. Shut your bikes off for a few seconds. Let them cool down just for a minute. Lights off, dude. Shut your bike off, dude. Shut that Honda off. Shut the lights off. Don't don't shut that bike off. Just shut the don't shut it off. I just said don't shut that bike off. Turn it back on. This one? No, that one. Figure it out now before the battery dies. Oh my fucking god. I don't I don't know what's wrong today, dude. You're killing me, bro. Pull your clutch in. This battery's fucking dead. I just said don't shut the fucking bike off. I just fucking said it. I literally just said it. Now no, we're not gonna push start shit in front of cops. I just fucking said it too. Guys are killing me. Drop it, go. Push. We got it, go. Cut it out. Oh. 
It's not fucking, it's not catching. All right, all right, we're, we passed the funeral, so we're not, we're not there. So just come on straight through. We're out of here, all right? We're waiting, we're waiting for you. We're at the, right at the front entrance where they turn right. Just go straight past the cop car. You'll see our bikes, because one of them broke down. Come on, come on, push, 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 push. Drive it around, get the stator going, or yeah, yeah. Well, they're they're alternators, but they're weak alternators. Why do? You... I said key was on, right? Now you have it in the wrong. Now it's on. No, I, okay. now it's on, dude. Okay. Make sure double check everything's on. Ready to go. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Go. Thank you, Ryan. Good job, guys. Let's get the fuck home. Just like when he won the war in Fallujah all by himself. Or how about this next video where one of his men crashes into a black SUV and Jeremy fudges the police report for insurance purposes. Cut right across in front of Mexico. Right in front of him. You're, you're not using the horn enough, dog. You're going to fuck the team up. We're going to make this guy go into the cemetery. What I just fucking said. Stay right there. Stay right there. I just fucking told you, dog. Get your fucking bike up. Get it out of the way. I just fucking told you, dude. Put it in gear. Come on. I think I fucking told you that too. That's all, you know what, bro? All due respect, that's all your fault. I'm gonna fucking word it so it's not your fault. I'm gonna fucking word it so it's not your fault. But dude, that's all your fucking fault. Now you know Jeremy's not against fudging a police report if it's going to get a payoff, cash payoff for him. Let's go ahead and check this next video where his beloved brother crashes in to a taxi cab driver. And not only does he not care about the brother, but he also sues the taxi cab company. Stay there, sir. Jeremy has to drive at high speeds because he's got movers on his six. You know, he's got, uh, he's got, uh, he's got... Heavy oncoming, hard and fast. I need bikes up here. I need two bikes now. I need units here now. Get to me. Get to me. Come on, Jeremy. You gotta tell him. I need you to take my spot. Okay, there goes his brother Dylan, I believe. I believe his brother's gonna get in an accident. There he was. He was just in an accident. Did you see that? Let's watch it again. I'll just show you. Boom, he just got hit by a taxi. And now Jeremy's getting there now, quickly, to do an insurance scam. Faster than any personal attorney, injury attorney ever could. Jeremy does not check on his brother. Instead, he pulls in here to yell at the taxi cab driver. No, he's not okay. You're in a funeral. You just cut through. I don't know. I 
need you to put your helmet on. Dylan does not look too so good right there. It looks like he was just in a major motorcycle accident. His shirt is ripped. I mean, he's really, he messed up. And Jeremy's only interested in a scam and making money. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yeah, it's just, it's just me. Yes. I'm, I'm okay. I'm just banged up. I'm just, my arm's just, I'm fine. I'm just, I just, I'm fine. False police report. No, I, I don't have any serious injuries. I, I, the bike took all of it. I just, my, my boss didn't realize how bad, I, he thought I was hurt because I was laying on the ground. <laughs> You know yourself better than we do. No, I'm good. I'll say I'm good. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that Jeremy didn't want to go to the hospital because Jeremy knows that you can collect three to four times whatever your medical bills. Also, if he goes to the hospital in a helicopter right now, and that costs fifty thousand dollars, and this turns into a hundred and fifty thousand dollar lawsuit. $50,000 goes to him, $50,000 goes to the medical, and then $50,000 goes to the attorney that uh, gets all this done for him. He gets collect one third, and it's three times the medical bills. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Looks like he just put on some glasses. Let's see this. Is Jeremy putting on glasses? Look at that. Oh, yeah, he's putting on his normal glasses. I thought those were eyeglasses. Poor Dylan. I think some of his aggressiveness on the road led to a lot of road rage incidents later in the career, such as in this one, where he drives a motorcycle rider insane. We're going that way. What's up? Because you've been cutting in and out of our escort illegally, so what's up? I want to know how to get out when you, when you see flashing lights, you stop. Not keep driving your motorcycle, cutting in and out of cars. You were stop. You these people are not stopping because they're a part of what we're doing. You need to stop when you see emergency lights. Plain and simple. When you see a fire ambulance or a, or a rescue officer coming through, you stop your bike, don't you? Do you? Don't you stop? Do you stop or not? Do you stop or not? Listen to me. I don't need a fucking sign. My lights. My lights are my There's sign for you to stop. There's you no want to throw down sign. your motorcycle like a child? No All of these right here, flashing lights, are fucking signs. Asshole. You're on the camera right now, road. just so you know. Yeah, so Why don't you, you pick up your fucking asshole. bike and get the yeah, fuck, fuck out of here? Fuck you, don't tell me what to do. Get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. Call the cops now. Call the cops now. Call the cops now. Call the police now. Get on your bike and get out of here. Call the police now. Get on your bike and get out of here. Call the police now. We ain't doing shit. We're not the one breaking the law here, uh, sir. I'm not breaking shit. Why don't you fucking get on your bike and get out? Let me fuck you up for running me off the road, you fucking faggot. Running you off the road? You're the one throwing your bike down like a child. I don't fuck about that bike. I don't care about it. I don't care about that bike. You need to learn it. You need to get a new job, buddy. You need to get a new job, buddy. You need to... As we all know now, Jeremy and his men got caught up in a RICO investigation where some of his men turned informants. And one of those videos, such as the informant video outside the mall, I guess, is one of the ones that we all remember. What were we on the phone? They took the cameras. Oh, three o'clock, around three o'clock. I had to be around three o'clock. They presented the warrant when they searched the office. They presented it with Stutter and they made him warning. But they didn't know where the office was unless they act to act went into my bag and my phone and used my phone. How'd they break the code of your phone? Yeah, but didn't yeah. you say that he you just got a business license with that address? 
Oh, uh, so. How did you know that? Oh. Let me do like um so that. Precious. No, you said no. You said <laughs> you weren't gonna get one, and then when someone came to the office, she was like, "I gotta get one." The news, the Spanish we were, got there. Cause we were asking. Like, I gotta file it now. I was like, "How the fuck did they find out?" And all this stuff. And he was like, "Well, he just probably they, he said that they probably found out because he just applied for the business license." Right, but here's the thing. Hypothetically, I did that. Let's say. Uh huh. Okay. They didn't leave me until five o'clock, so they didn't call the business office and get the address that night. And why didn't they get it before? They took my phone and went through my phone and pulled up that so address. So you have Metro address in your phone? No, I have. Work. So on your GP? On my GPS. Oh, okay, okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Oh. It's like the iPhone. Like what we yeah, do. I never keep that up to date. Just yeah, for reasons me like neither. This. So I was too blind though. About it. My phone still thinks my home is all the way in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania so. But no, that's Tony. the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's Tony. So that's the oh, thing my, is if they got was... that, whatever they get from the office will be thrown out. Thrown out. That's that's poisonous fruit of a of a tree. So we don't do have enough cars in we do Orlando. Oh yeah, we don't if we if they go if we have multiple. Well, for us, sports. The thing is, in how Orlando is set up, if we go across that line, bro, we're getting like I know Winter Park will literally. Be like no. Winter Park was always cool with us, but they still are. Oh, I, know. I mean, now every agency. Is... Well, right now it's Orange and Windermere. No, now it's every agency. Well, I'm just saying, you guys. You have to realize where we're doing these escorts, like in our in our face right now, our name of our company. They see us over at Yellow Line, which we could even show them what the mayor said. They're still going to be like. Mm. Doesn't matter what the mayor said. The mayor doesn't make law. Exactly. That's yeah, true. but the they judges make the ordinance. do. The judges See, here's do. the thing, and that's what I well, said. Well, they enforce the law. The wall. judges have it. said over and yeah. over that what we're doing is legal. So what we need to decide, I agree with taking the guns off so that way they stop crying like bitches. But I don't believe that we should take the whole belt off. How about we just wear it on the actual belt instead of the duty belt? What? The pepper ball? No, like just everything on a normal belt. That's the same thing as carrying a fucking yeah, duty belt. It's, it's, it's on my it's on my clothes. That no, looks, now you look like a raggedy security he's, officer. He's, he, now just look, think, look. let's think about this. He's not kind of onto something. But you have to lace all that shit through while well, you're Well, no. It. If there's something that is not a technical duty belt, oh, I just have a couple things on my belt. My is it arguable it, like, more than like a like universal? Than a because they focused on uh, duty belt and the equipment he had. This way. Say if somebody gets pulled over, I'm not wearing a duty belt. I just have a pepper spray canister and whatever you feel you so would need to be that's, safe with. Because that's for our protection. Uh, because it's people, what they want. It's we, what they want. That's what the. That's what. Come on, guys. We. That's what Corporal Ramsey and Sergeant Biddle wants. Mm -hmm. okay, because because the judges have and you've seen it for ten years or six years. How long you been here? So eight, years, eight, years. eight years. Eight years. The judges do not agree with that. They say the word facilitate says we can move around and keep them safe. The judges have said that over Oh, we've never gotten a ticket. Right. That's your proof in the pudding right there. And right. that's why I think they're using the tool of impersonating. Right. Okay, no judge will do this for us. We'll get him for that. Right. Honestly, I think it's even more of a liability and you're going to lose people and you're going to lose contracts. Here's the thing. Let me tell you exactly. First accident, you're losing all your time. Come here. Oh. Oh. Keep touching us, bro. Why you don't touch Drew and uh, Carol? Hey. hey. Yeah, I thought my butt cheek tickled that time. Listen. Touch him, touch him black and this one got this fucking... I already patted him. He, oh, he like, probably got the most fucking listen, wire. Listen, Look at this shit he yeah. got on. He literally went I elbow actually... deep in their balls. <laughs> Hey, I'm cold right now, so you, that I was you may not find out. it. So, <laughs> what? No. It's cold right now, you may not find oh, it. Oh, see, I found Drew's. I was like, oh! Maybe you don't. That's why, that's why. Contractor. So, no, I'm not even contractor. My, my point is, is, yeah. My, I said that to, to the Ramsey. Okay. Oh, yeah, then you're a very good friend. Yes, I am. Yeah. Uh, I think I volunteer. I do. Because I don't, I don't. I'm going to get the president's award for volunteer. <laughs> Mexican SWAT team. Right? Yeah, that's probably you. See, y'all better stop fucking playing around. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Look tight up. So, uh, yeah. the point is, is they're, if they come to you, 
talking. We do funeral yeah. escorts. You know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what to say because yeah. then, then technically by Florida law, if I tell you what to say, and technically you're already, Al and I already know you're working undercover. But ASAP, we fucking yeah, yeah. know you are. <laughs> so, uh, if I tell you what to say, then I'm tampering with a witness per Florida statute. Oh, so, yeah. I'm not telling you what to say. I'm just telling you that. You called them over? That's a SWAT team, right? Yeah, I know. That's a fucking SWAT team. You think and security coming? Oh, yeah. You know we're going take down. down. <laughs> this is a takedown, yeah. Oh, they're, they're all going to hop they're off. They got the mask on. They're all going to hop too. off at the same time. No, 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 no. He's behind your car. Okay. So, um, okay. You guys, you understand if they call you or talk to you, I promise you, as as God is my witness, hey, Wallahi. Mahu? Wallahi. Oh. <laughs> Listen to me. Hey. If they say that Jay said this or this about you, Believe it's it. bullshit. Oh. Believe it. Oh. It's bullshit. Because I don't talk. And when they were doing that at the at the sheriff's office the other day, they were asking questions and this and that. Do they even know all your employees? Yes, they do. Uh -huh. Because there's somebody that is uh -huh. snitching. Open your arms. Well, I got ticketed, so they know me. <laughs> oh, they know me. They got my ID. They know me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just got a Florida ID. Yeah. My name is. Right? I just Hello. got I got cuffed and I fell down on the fucking floor as they were cuffing me. So wait. My ID, my Florida ID, my name's spelled wrong. It's right in. It's right in there. Here's the thing. I know for a fact it's not repo. I was thinking it was, but then unless he did it on purpose, he pointed at somebody in a picture that's fat and white and said repo nurse i was like that's not repo that's not nurse we got money too anyone else that wants he to work he works with the fed paycheck, paycheck. anyone that wants to loan a little bit of money you know you if you put five dollars in car in the car or something just give me a couple of weeks to get out of this hole and then we'll be fine um we just gotta get and out. I'll, of I'll just let you know in a couple of weeks. Do they take? Do they take the uh, router? I'll let you know in a couple of weeks about our thing. Yes. Amen. Well, I'm not gonna take everything you owe me. I'll oh. one Why don't you loan me a thousand dollars? Loan me Why don't you sell a couple bikes and like? Yeah. Why don't you start selling a couple of things? We're going um, to. Someone, hey, someone messaged about the about the Karasaki. He lives in in Orlando and wants to buy it, okay. but he wants the. The, the, the fender, the rendering, or some shit. Give him like everything. That. You tell him he's got to pay for it, though. Yeah, he said they use PayPal, and I messaged back, and I put, yeah. Yeah, I can't use no? PayPal. Okay, never mind. Then. Nope. Why can't tell we just cash, cash or money order? PayPal. And even money orders, you got to be careful. Yeah, even money orders. If you need PayPal, to sell a car, sell them follow. They, the PayPal, they can they can turn it around say it's fraud. So what did they take from the office? The computer and all that? Just the computer and the body. We need cameras. to sell that router. Remember the router? You oh, so you got no cameras now. They so took the all camera the, too? the vehicles are sitting so wait, these right come in now. They everything? No, no, no. The body cameras. The body oh, cameras. Okay. oh, they didn't take the helmet cameras. Yeah. I got, oh, I got my, go, I got my GoPro. Yeah, I got my body cameras. I got my GoPro, so I can. Even I have known that. I should have my personal GoPro. You know, you know how kids send you know me? Where's that little box thingy? Yeah. They're at like CVS for like fifteen dollars. You guys aren't understanding. They ain't got no money. I have no I'm money. Saying we can buy our own. You know, now here's the interesting thing. They didn't need to take the camera. They could have just taken the car, but they took the camera. Right. So that's stopping cameras us from being that's exactly. liable for Cameras don't, don't store anything. Right. They could have taken the car down and left the cameras. They took the cameras so that we can't use Jesus. them. Right. Because yeah. <laughs> you're looking at, what, $1,500? No, shit, $2,000 worth of cameras, if not more? Right. That's just the helmet cameras. Oh, I don't know what the body cameras are. Go ahead, Sarah. Sorry about that. I'm good. I have a girlfriend. I'm wearing her hoodie. Stop. All right. Well, that's really it. I mean, you want to go get food? I'll buy. I, mean, I just got paid today. I'm going to go into the Florida Mall then. For what? We go get some food. Get some food. I need to go to Starbucks. I had There's a Starbucks in there. Let's go yeah. in there. Let me go grab my wallet. Alright, let's go. Let's go to Florida Mall. Can we park closer? I gotta go to the... I gotta go find yeah, some winter dog. clothes. Cause Can I'm, we like really look at my cold. car? Because... I, I gotta go to the... Pro I gotta go to the, the, the office now actually. And talk to them and make sure that there was a lot of incidences like this. Remember the incident in Daytona where he confronts the officers and then shuts down the freeway? Good morning. 
Who's who's in charge today? How's it going? Nice to meet you, Jay. Um, so you guys, we understand, are taking us all the way to the road. We're just gonna roll front, and then we're gonna take it over. You guys, did they tell you that or? Yeah, we're okay. just gonna we're just shutting down the intersection. So okay. And uh, I'm probably gonna lead out front. So okay. I'll get to uh, Indigo Speedway. Okay. And I'm gonna stop blocking the traffic there. You know, I work 95 North is right there. Right, right. You guys just take them off. Roger, right. sounds good. <laughs> Star, pull over with us. Let's get some body footage of the cars racing by. Especially ASAP, get off your bike with the body camera footage of the cruiser. We just shut down fucking 90 fucking motherfucking five. And not a motherfucking. Not a motherfucking. Gonna be a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Star, where are you going? Okay, all right, let's do it quick, please. Shouldn't walk away from. Shouldn't walk away from the cruise. I gotta turn. I can't hear you. Tell him we outrank him. Oh, he's construction. Okay. Listen, photo, uh, repo. I want you to pull now that it's shut down, pull very slowly forward to the edge of that. So that way you can see when the last car is coming up. So as soon as the last car comes up, you guys can get moving. Because I think we're coming up towards the end. Stay parallel to each other. Don't break. Don't break because if you do, you know what's going to happen. They're going to try to fish around you. Photo, can you see when the la the cars are coming around the bend? No, 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 I know, but can you see the distance so you can see when the last one's coming? 
Okay, that's what I'm asking. I want to know. I want you to know when the last one's coming, so you guys can get in the vehicles and move off. Yeah, well, I can promise you there's cops coming right now somewhere. That base speeds in route somewhere from somewhere. What is this? What event is this? This is a funeral for somebody that owned Corvette, right? God damn, you god damn fucking right it is. God damn right. Somebody that designed Corvettes died. I can't control the statute. The statute says that you want to get to the front, get to the front and find out who it is. I don't know. Yeah, cremations are in the lead car. Cremations are in the lead car. Make make contact with, make 1025 with the lead vehicle. Look at that old ass fucking stingray. Every one of them is, all the girls are videotaping, taking pictures. Maybe we'll get something online. No, it's never hashtag, that's a state. It's hashtag, who the fuck do these guys think they are? What's funny is Daytona, when we made contact with Daytona Beach PD, the motors, they already knew what we were doing and they even knew what we were, how we were doing it and they were okay with it. I'm like, what? Roger, Roger, Drew. You guys roll up with the last card. Roger, roll up with it hard. We're going all the way one exit. Another one of these police confrontations gets an honorary mention here on our list before we get back to the final countdown. And you may remember this one as when he confronts the officer in Tampa during an illegal escort and he finesses his words so carefully as to maybe, maybe not tell a lie. Let's go ahead and watch. Well, as soon as we clear here, we'll get with them. They can meet us. She's on her way over here now. Okay, that's fine. Guys, go. Start running this. Hi, Sergeant. What's up? We're Metro State. Our clients here, we're leaving right now. Let's go, guys. I'll talk to you. What's up, Sergeant? Metro yeah. from where? From Orlando. Okay, okay. They yeah. were saying you were a private security system. No, we're a state service. State agency service. Okay. They yep. were saying that you were a private service. They weren't saying that you were sworn law enforcement. That's why. Okay. Someone earlier. That's why we were going to address it. No problem. So they didn't know. Not a problem. They couldn't tell, so they said that you were security system. We're not security, no mail. Right. No sorry. Alright? All right. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Let's go. Lights and sirens. You can get on the speedway property. I'm sorry, sorry? You can get off the speedway property. Which where's the property end, Sergeant? The intersection is the city to get. Okay. Because I've already talked to the lieutenant along with the sergeant. You talk to get off the property. I don't know who told you I said I was a police officer, but I never said we were you police can get officers. Off the property. I'm gonna tell you one more time. Okay. I'll pull in the street right now then. Please, no, 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 wait. First of all, you're not going to pull in the street because ready for this? You don't have a permit to be in our city and you don't have a mutual aid agreement. So get out of our city. Actually, I've already talked to the sergeant and the lieutenant this no, morning. You haven't talked to anybody. So get that, out of our property. That's not what I was advised this morning. So okay, I'm going to pull you didn't talk to the into the intersection. So either you get off the property or right. out of our city or I'm going to find somewhere for you to be. I've already, talk, I've already called the lieutenant. Again, get off of the property. Your lieutenant said that there's... Okay, well, I'm going to sit right here then. You can write me a 316 then. I was told by your sergeant on the dispatch. Sergeant di who? The dispatch officer sergeant just told. Who? The dispatch. Sergeant who? Sergeant, as soon as you're done yelling, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Go ahead, who? Thank you, sergeant. Your dispatcher advised me that your sergeant and a lieutenant is en route, and that's the last thing she advised. You're a speedway right officer. Yes, no, ma'am. I understand, but you're off duty, working no, as a speedway not. officer on contract. The Black Motors, the Black Motors along with the Volusia dispatch advised me is on the way to talk to me in reference to what you're saying. Because you went to my client, you went to my client and advised them that we told you we were police officers. We never advised that. Yes, you did. No, Sergeant, we did yes, not. You did. 
Yesterday. No, we don't. And I have a body camera, and I also have that video. You asked me where I was from, Sergeant, and, and I advised you I was Metro from... I, right, we're Metro, Metro State. State. Police is what you said. No, yes. Sergeant. No, Sergeant. My name's Jay, Sergeant. Okay, I'm Lissette. Let's Hi, Lissette. This over. Yes, Lissette. Okay, listen. This is the biggest thing here. You can't be on Speedway property because the man of above right. doesn't want you on Speedway property. I understand. So anywhere other that you want to set up and do what you got to do, as long as you're not on the city, the Speedway of all of uh, Bill France right. to Pit Row, you can hang out on Pit Row, right. past Pit Row. But yeah. other than that, you can't be on Speedway property and you can't be doing escorts on Speedway property. That's the biggest thing. I understand, sorry. I was advised by the lieutenant this morning and the sergeant this morning on the phone from Motors that as long as we're on this road, that we're legal, 100% per 316. You're fine with that. I'm okay. just saying, what's happening here is they are seeing you on Speedway property and they are yelling at me because you're on Speedway property. You can't be on Speedway property doing escorts. And I understand. The guy in the black truck yet uh -huh. earlier was on Speedway property. I asked him to leave, he didn't want to leave. The gentleman that's in that black truck, one of the main team CEOs, is who we're here with and who okay. he had in his possession. Let me show you, let me explain to you how this could be corrected for next year. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. All you have to do is notify Steve Beers, is a, who's head of our security system right. at the track, that, hey, we would like to come over and do this. He has no problem with it. Right. When you come over unannounced, it becomes an issue. I That's the problem. So we have no, believe me, you're taking, you're taking work from me, and I, and I greatly appreciate it. Right. I don't believe me. We have enough to do. But the problem is, is that Speedway doesn't want you on Speedway problem without you giving them permission. I understand. Because they that. don't want it to set precedence that you're coming over to do it on their property. Right. That's where the problem lies. And Sergeant, I'll fix that for the next time. We didn't even know they called us yesterday night and scheduled everything at 11 o'clock at night. Well, and, so. hey, and I get it because we run escorts all day long, but the only escorts we are allowed to run is it through the track and tra track approved. Right. So that's where it comes down to. They don't want you on the property. There's other places that you can set up to pick up your escorts and drop off your escorts, but there lies the problem. Yesterday when I contacted you, maybe it was missing your information. Roger. I swear that you stated to me that you were sworn law enforcement. No, ma'am. Once upon a time, most of us were. Well, right. And right. I asked you if you were security. We're company. not secured. Okay. You could have been straight up and forward with me, which you didn't. You could have been like this. You could have been like, hey, Sarge, we're running escorts. Right. This is what we're doing. Instead, you roundabout did the answers just to get what I wanted to hear. Well, sorry, I, I and wasn't you know trying you to give that. you. I, you know you did it. So then, what did that do? That pissed me off, and it. So today, that's why we're here. You I understand, understand that. Sorry. So next time, if you want to handle it differently, is how you approach the situation. Rod. Okay. I understand. Thanks, sorry. So. So they're at the first watch. Is that okay? No, that's actually Speedway property. Okay. But listen. We can sit in this turning lane if you want. Where it's not active. I really don't care if you're first watch because you're not in this parking lot, right? Does the speedway own that? Yes. At this point, they can't see you over at first watch, so do what you need to do. Sounds but good. next year, if you send a little email to Steve Beers, he has no problem with that, whatever you're doing, but he wants to be notified. Roger. Thank you, Sergeant. Are we understanding? Yes, ma'am. We're on the same page. I need uh, you guys to get teamed together. Well, stay up first watch. That's absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and get back to our countdown when he is still in Tampa and he confronts some Tampa police departments and lies about being in the military and his officer background and a whole bunch of things. In this next video, number six. Yeah. You guys, you don't have to be scared. I, I know you're just a security officer, you can step out. Oh, let me see. I know you're a security officer, you're fine. What's up? We're on federal property, which is separate. Okay, yeah. what does that mean to me? Have I committed a crime? Security yeah. officer? We want, I want to know why you took a picture of the CBP sign with your bike. What the fuck kind of federal law is that? 
I want to know You better why. figure out real fast, Damn. depth uh, of security he, officer, who you are. He wants go to go ahead. He go get a federal agent now. Wait, go get a fuck homeland wow. security officer now. Hey, wait, chill. Wait, we just don't know who you are. I don't give a fuck who I am. You don't have to Have I entered your facility? We don't know. Have I entered your facility? Yes or no, security officer. Dude, you're representing a company, like, not well, okay? Listen, <laughs> you're not representing your company well right now, okay? Are you a security officer? No, he's not. You don't need to worry about who security. I am. Security. Are you, cl are you yeah. clear for that? He owns this business. Are you clear for that? Sir, what's your GS level? Because I know what my military level was in sure. my classification. Okay, we don't need to go to Okay, yeah. great. You are, are, are you an officer? I'm, no, I'm not, but I work okay. for customs. CP35, yeah. another federal unit. badge? My badge is somewhat okay. good. Are so, you a federal uh, agent? I'm a federal, I'm a federal employee. Okay, you can step aside. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm sorry, you can step inside. Actually, oh, you don't need to, you oh, don't need to tell her oh. to step inside. What's she can on? stand here. Okay. Just like you can stand here, she exactly. can stand here, okay? As soon as, be, as soon as I enter your federal facility, then we can talk more. Huh? I am relaxed. Hopefully their sergeant gets here soon. Dude, she was on the phone with him, okay? No rush. But you, listen, you don't have to yell. You you still are a business owner at the right, end of the day, that, right? I hate to be disrespected but, and for both of them to walk over here and say, are you a security guard? Well, well you're what a top flight security. Uh, well, if you're certified, then we have yeah, a problem. I'm at the because you can't Gosh, open I'm carry and all that. I'm not That's open carry. Okay. Okay. What is that on your head? Florida statute 970 says that I can open carry less lethal device at any time in uniform. Oh, is and that not a gun? That is correct. It's okay. less lethal. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Yeah, okay, it looks like a gun. It's yeah, on I your totally, hip. I totally so understand. That, and I'm, so, I'm happy to answer your questions. Okay. So. Okay, you got to well, we don't need to be like, it looks like a gun. It's kind of yeah. like if it walks like a duck, talks, quacks like right. a duck, it's a right. duck, right? Until right. we can determine but, that it's not a duck. So we're determining that it's not a duck right now. Yeah. And my it's body cam is on, good. so. It's a three prong. It's a three prong. I have to act, advise somebody that I am, and then make that person do something under Florida statute, three prong for it to be impersonated. So well, there is nothing that my supervisor not, is on his way. Uh, he will be more than happy to explain it. And that's how it's gonna be. Yeah. Okay? And don't so. take it wrong. I'm not upset with you. I understand you have your job to do, but we haven't violated any statutes or laws. Is that is when you ran all the stuff, is that who it is? Okay. So, hey, let, me, let me just show you this picture. Yeah. Let me just show you this picture real quick. So okay. it's just this is you. Yeah, we know this is you. Right? Okay. And okay. What does that have to do with it? Okay. Yeah. What does that have to do with it? But, but I, I can't work with this, yeah. you know. So I'm dressed up like the same thing. Okay. Like, we, we know the but like, listen, I get pissed all the time too. I can't act that type of way. I can't, you know. See, that's the great thing. Because I used to wear that. And then, then I joined the army. Yeah. And then this is where I am now because, because a girl lied to me and the state felt that they would drop her because guess what the funny thing is, is they arrested her for giving a fake ID to a police officer but they dropped her charges so they could hey court so I like you you're like I just, I'm too old for any BS at this point. I'm tired, it's hot, it's summer. Let's just cut to the chase of everything, you know? Like, I'm not judging you on your past, but yes, we want to figure out what's going on. And we understand that. So. What's up, Corp? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. How are you doing? So this is our boss. So what had happened was, we get a call from Customs saying that the, this gentleman is dressed like an officer and he's not an officer. They had concerns that he was impersonating an officer, or maybe us, or whatever, or made something up. We don't know. These people here own this company, which is Metro State. I guess it's a legitimate company per Google. Um, I don't know. Per so, Sunday. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's so, okay, yeah. So anyways, um, and then... Uh, what ha you are a hothead for sure yeah. because he got pissed with them over here and well, was this, you know right here this is this is their this is their jurisdiction right here what, in they they got pissed because he parked there and took a picture we were trying to make sure like that he's yeah, not in person. Yeah, yeah. Wild huh? and look for us. yeah. So we right. But then customs, he wanted to talk to us. 
other and then we were waiting on a supervisor and then these people came out so i think you wanted to talk to our sergeant or something yeah. right well as long as we're free to go we're good to go okay yeah, so you know said wait here you said no he's so my thought was everywhere Okay. Yeah, he okay. said he so wanted to talk, and I said, well, if you want to wait, Sorry. and then, oh, was he here? No, that's not him either. He drives a white Crown Vic. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you have any complaints, so that's who you would make it to about us, okay. and then any complaints that you have on them, I don't know. Did they do anything to you? Did they get their hands on you? No, no, okay, no. Yeah, but we, we identified, I guess, dispatch as it is as a company. Okay, so legit. Just they were just concerned. I hope so. I mean, you got yeah. tripped out by it. Yeah. All of our vehicles are that way. In fact, your one-star vault headed chief talked to me not too long ago. I don't even know who that is. Which one is that? Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would call Brian a, a one-star vault headed chief. Wow. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, we, we, we've had a few nice talks. Okay. But, yeah. So, we're all good with them, right? Yes, we are. I know. Maybe we ought to retire and come work for this company. Like, you know. It's fine. What do you guys do? I'm just curious. Well, she's in the process of becoming, getting a job on. So I'm on break. Okay. Are you here at HCC? So we'll see you guys again. No, it's my last weekend. Thing. Oh, okay. Sunday is my last day. Okay. It's four classes. It's four weekends. Yeah. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, that's it? Okay. Eight to seven. Okay. Okay. And then, so you guys own this company, and it's going to take a new facet? It's for me. For you. Okay. Okay. You know what you're getting into, though. Like, some of that's crazy. But it's a lot of money. You can make $400,000 a year. Wow. But you can't do it Okay. Okay. After you retire. Yeah, okay. yeah they're leaving, okay. I guess. So, so she said that this is her last after yeah, class. Last so I was going to say, okay, well, now we can expect this because no, you guys are here. Weekend. But no, we were. Have y'all come out? Because we did a military funeral from down in Orlando. Yeah. We brought the. He was a major in the Army. Yeah. And he passed away. And we took him to Bushnell. Okay. And she was here for school on lunch. And I was like, well, it's only a 30 minute ride. So I came over from Bushnell. <laughs> and all this. Yeah. All this. Okay. I would have assumed. Yeah. I would have I assumed. Driving, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. And his and his in the past stuff, stuff so. we don't really even make determinations about. You know, it's. It wasn't that. It was the way she. I pulled you up. Yeah. We're trying to ID who you up. are. Yeah. We get that. Yeah. We're done. So. Yeah. And don't get so mad. God. I just, we hate when people try to, top flight security try to overstep their boundaries. Like, right, we know our status. If we I don't overstep our boundaries, boundaries yeah. we'd be tempted to then for impersonating. All right. So, but because he's a federal employee, which although he's a security officer, he's a federal security officer, his jurisdiction ends here. It's like my rules. So what happens, I'm not even joking right now, what happens if you're walking down the street and like somebody comes running up to you, you know, there's an emergency? Well, we would help. So you guys, you better believe I would help. we would help. That's still, that you have to. Yeah. That's I, I didn't human serve, nature. I didn't serve 14 years in Iraq and Afghanistan. Like, that's why my business exists the way it was. What department did you work at? You said you were a police? I was a police officer. Oh, Orlando. Orlando. Wow. Yeah, Orlando. Okay. Then I did the Army. I, I was young and dumb and I wanted action, so I joined the Army, was a Ranger, and then I went SF, and then... My parachute didn't work right, my back got hurt, my brother got killed, and uh, I drank and life changed. It could happen to any one of us though, honestly. <laughs> that story own, could business. be any one of us, so. Yeah. At the end right. of the day. So. Well, right. well, well, very nice to meet you both for your time. Uh, yeah, sorry to bug you. Good luck. This is what I do. Call us if you guys ever need uh, your family member. Sorry to say. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Escorting all day. Uh, all right, y'all. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Sorry Ladies about again, I'm yeah, sorry. sorry. It's not that I was so abrupt. I was just. Yeah, be nice. Very firm. We don't want to be out here in the heat. Okay. <laughs> it's like, we'd rather be. We were typing reports, and this came in like it was like the end of the world. We're like, what? What in the heck? You know, so, you know, but now it's straight out. So you'll have a good day. Good luck with your uh, company and all that. Be careful, too. Be careful. Like, there's some crazy. I getting more defense classes and everything. Yeah. 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 Just, sometimes it's not always worth it, right? Remember that. Yeah, that's So, like, you're first. Okay. Don't don't let the money, you know. Right. Yeah. My safety first. Yes. Okay. All right. See ya.
Okay, that confrontation was pretty out there, but it's nothing compared to when he confronted the Maitland PD officer who was in the middle of trying to pull over one of his men. Number five. Oh, oh. What's the reason? I'm talking to him, not you. Go on oh, okay. Well, I'll be 10 12 then. Guys, go to the church. Go now. Put your vehicle in the first driveway on the right. Okay, let's go up here. You guys go to the church. Drew, I'm on, I'm on, let me find out what's going on, dog. Stop right there. Right there, stop. I don't have time for this shit, so I don't know what you did. You weren't doing anything, were you? Make sure your body camera's on. Hey, listen. Yes, ma'am. We're on a traffic stop. Okay, what? I what? don't know who you guys are. Oh, that's fine. But you are not going to pull up next to my vehicle and okay. try to start a verbal argument with me. No problem. I am stopping this motorcycle because he has a flashing red light, and that is illegal. No, it's not. Not when it's a brake light. Okay. Do you want to make a bet? Write it. Write it. Just write oh, it. I will write it. Give her your license and insurance. We don't have time. We have a funeral to get to, hey. so write it now. Hey. Listen. Get don't... off of my scene right now. Ma'am. Get it's... off of my I'm scene right now. Right now. I do not okay. care. Get That's off of my flat... scene right now. Go back to your bike, girl. You I'll will stand... be arrested. For what? Go back. What? I, I'm sorry. I'm impeding your investigation. Stay there. I'm right here. I need you to get your sergeant out here now, please. Shut, shut your bike off. Please call a sergeant. I whether I know who I am or not, officer, it's okay. okay Florida statute says. You're right. You're right. I'm not causing a verbal argument, ma'am. You're right. You're right. Do me a favor. The the brake the brake pedal stuck. <clears throat> Drew, I'm gonna have to walk you through the escort. Say again, registration's in the top box right there. Is it not? In the big plastic folder? Right there. You, you have your body camera on? Okay. No, I know, it's the brake light, so. Take you to court because statute, statute. So, good. How are you? Are you the sergeant? I asked for area supervisor. Yeah, they're still on the way. Okay, good. Good. Listen, ma'am. All the all the disrespect doesn't have to fly, ma'am. Okay, let me tell you something. Oh, here we go. Whether I think I know him anyone, ma'am, I'm not okay, disrespecting I don't know who you. you. Think you, are. I don't... you do not pull up next to my vehicle when I'm trying to stop him. Okay. It's none of your business. You're right. You have no right to be here right this now. This is my company and that's my I vehicle and that's my employee. Whose company it okay. Is. Well, ma'am, this is the thing. That's my man, and I know for a fact we weren't doing anything illegal. We weren't speeding, we weren't doing anything. Go ahead. So because Nobody of that. You said you were speeding, right. that never came right. up. Right. So that's why I was asking you what was wrong. And I told you what the issue well, was. Well, you told me now. You told no, me after told we stopped before. here. So I've told you like three times now, okay. and I've informed this individual who's being right. completely cooperative. I, I'm being cooperative. I'm not being disrespectful. I haven't okay. yelled at you. I haven't been disrespectful you like you have to me. To pull up to I, my vehicle I understand. Yes, ma'am. And ask me what the traffic stop is about. Okay. It's none of your business. I agree. Technically, I can tell you to leave right now. You could. And you need to. I'm going to wait for your sergeant. Okay, you can wait for her. Thank you. And, then you're, and she's right here, and then you're going to leave. Okay. I'll tell you that right now. <clears throat> No, it's not. It's less lethal. Per oh. Florida statute, it's legal. Just like a brake light that's flashing red. <laughs> Take a 
especially for the Ford statute, you're not allowed to have any extra That's incorrect. Um, auxiliary lights. A flashing red light on police motorcycles or emergency vehicles is legal. Just like any ambulance, like Rural Metro or, or yeah, anything like that. These are police vehicles. These are state certified approved agency vehicles. All of them are under Metro State, under Florida Statute 316, 1974 states our vehicles are properly lit the way they are. And we can write the ticket and I'll take it to court and beat it just like we have before. So. You're right. I'll take it to court, don't worry. Good. Of course. You said you own this company? That's correct. And all of our officers are body camming video, just so we're clear. That's all right. Yeah, I know. Just trying to be respectful. She's yelling in disrespect. I, we, you know, we're just trying to find out what's going on. We have a funeral we get to. You know, it is what it is that we're being stopped because the light's flashing red. It's a brake light. I don't know where you guys read that, but it says brake light or a red light flashing if it's combined with the tail light. When the tail light comes on and the brake light flashes, then it's legal in the state of Florida. You know, it's always some excuse with Jeremy, just like in this next video where he actually gets arrested. And you may know this next video where the bike's not stolen, Sarge. Number four.
got handcuffs. Where's the handcuff key? Whenever we're done running the 2829 on the bike and I can verify the registration, we can move forward. Anything in your shoes? It's on my motorcycle in the bag. Officer, officer. Be, I'll be right back with you, okay? Hold it, sir, sir. I'm, dude, listen, I'm not even bullshitting with you. I was just in a serious accident the other day. I have heart problems. I'm burning up. Can you turn the AC a little higher or something, please? Okay, I'm just, melting back here and I'm getting dizzy. Goes. Just get pity, dog. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm at I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Whatever you just did, that's good. Thank you. Okay, you're right, man. Dispatch 271 1962. Dispatch 271 1065 1029 PDL. For D Delta. CCF motorcycle. Uh, there other guys are still down there, but they're further down the road. What'd you say? So at least he still has a motorcycle. <laughs> is, is, uh, is this registered in his name or the company? Here, guys. The company. Okay. Yeah. There's have this stuff. We do in house security. We run funeral escorts. We're allowed to do this. Okay, do you have a security license? We are an in-house security agency. We're an in-house security. Look it up. Then get me yeah, somebody. There you, there you now, the this officer, this is gonna go way bad for me. This isn't fair. I didn't do anything. I didn't even break the yellow line. I stayed up on the inside of the yellow line on the escort like we're allowed to per statute. Officer, get me a lieutenant. What? What are you doing? Am I see? How am I impersonating? I have purple and amber lights. My uniform clearly states our company. What are you guys? How am I impersonating? When did I ever say I'm a police officer? When did I ever pull a car over? When did I do any of that? I'm asking you, Officer Ogletree, when did I impersonate? Sir. Sir. When did you see me impersonate a law enforcement officer? When did I act as a police officer other than a funeral escort agency? Don't shut your camera off now. No, it's still running. I'm making sure it's running. I'm yeah. asking you a question. How was I impersonating? We are allowed to do funeral escorts and move around the funeral and hold the intersections until the last vehicle is safely through. We're allowed to escort with purple and amber lights. We are allowed to be in uniform. How are my impersonating? Officer Ogletree, I'm asking you, when did you see me act as a police officer or say I was a police officer? Of course, after this arrest, things really started going downhill for Jeremy, especially on March 23rd of 2021 when Vidler arrested him. Number three. Don't oh, reach for that firearm. Walk away from your bike. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Go down to your knees. Do not reach for that firearm. Do not reach for that firearm. Go down to your knees. Go down to your stomach. Do not reach for that firearm. Go down to your stomach now. Do not reach for that firearm. Do not reach for that firearm. Jeremy, do you my camera? No, on? you're not going to talk to me. Okay, I dictate this traffic stop, not you. You understand what? me? What are you yanking my helmet I'm off? I'm trying for? to take your helmet off. What are you yanking my helmet I'm off? I'm trying for? to identify you because I can't you're see you. You're trying to identify me? Bro, leave my camera alone. 
What are you doing? Okay. Go ahead and sit up. Stay right there. At that point, I was telling Jennifer where we were to get my motorcycles because I didn't want them to get towed. Um, <clears throat> He then grabbed the, because we were, we were modular helmets where the helmet can close, but then when you open it, it's kind of halfway up here. He grabbed that and started to pull on it. And then as he was pulling on it, he started to pull me. It was only like a foot or two. It, I mean, it wasn't much, but he was, as he was pulling with me to struggle to pull my helmet off, which is amazing to me being the fact he's a fuck, he's a motor deputy, then he should know when you're wearing a helmet that you have to take the, the latch off. So anyways, he's pulling on my helmet, pulling on my helmet, because I pulled away from him so he wouldn't shut my camera off. I didn't pull away from him to resist, I just pulled away from him so he wouldn't shut my camera off because he attempted to shut that off first. And when I did that, he then grabbed my helmet and started to pull me. Um, as he was pulling me, the help, my strap was yanking on my throat and I was like, what are you doing? I kept saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, why are you doing uh, what you're doing? He's like, I'm trying to take your helmet off so I can identify you. And I said, to fucking identify me? You know who I am. I mean, who, who, because right before he yanks my, and then when I tell him not to take my, to shut my camera off, leave my camera alone, he rolls me slightly over as he's grabbing my helmet and he says, Jeremy, you're not going to dictate to me how I run my traffic stop. Of course, this false complaint eventually got Viddler fired, but not until Jeremy was locked in a room with John Ramsey for a couple hours, conducting one of the best interviews I've ever seen of Jeremy DeWitt. Number two. And I know for a fact these are pepper balls right. all day. And I know for a fact that the statute, <coughs> your attorney says I can openly carry it in plain view, which I've been doing for, for almost eight years. So let me get back to the point of that video. And what, what, let me ask you another question. Uh -huh. When you pulled me over and you kept me on a traffic stop for three hours and you wrote me 20 tickets for having white flashing lights, um, I had a pepper ball. How come... We didn't arrest me for open carrying that. Well, first of all, you did not have a gun on you and, that day. And listen, and you know what makes it worse mm -hmm. for you right now is right. that you went on the Dr. Phil mm -hmm. and you described why it doesn't matter whether it had the yellow or not because you said you couldn't see it anyway because it's in the holster. The same as being concealed. He didn't. Tell me, tell me what on here, without taking the magazine out, tell me, just look at it. What do you see on here that tells you it's less lethal? I don't know. I'm not a police officer. Not concealed? <laughs> I, 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 oh, just relax. No, no, because you might hit me with it. <laughs> Come on, shut the fuck up. No, let, listen, what do you want? And I'll, just, I'll, just give it I'll, to me. I'm going to show you. No, I, I don't need to see it. I'm just okay. telling you. So, it's your gun, so, right? You haven't studied this gun? I don't know. I'm not a police officer. Okay. Oh, is this a belt? A duty belt? It is. Okay. The phone holder? Yeah. Magazine pouches? Well, they hold my knife sometimes. Okay, but this is a magazine pouch, right? Well, we use it for uh, multi-tools and stuff, okay. which is on my bike. And what is this used for in security, military, and law enforcement? Well, some people use it for phone holders, like you. Some people use it for what is this? multi tools and stuff like what that. What is this? That's a magazine pouch. What is this? A flashlight. Okay. Is it daylight or nighttime? I'm sorry. Is it day or night? What if it starts raining and we need to use our little traffic wands for our cars? Okay. So, so you're saying that it gets that dark? On a rainy day. It gets that we, dark? Well, see, I know you guys aren't allowed to ride in the rain, so but we ride in the rain. Okay, we ride in the rain, but okay, so well, it, no, it gets that dark, policy, right? But it's okay. Do you do building searches? No. Oh, okay. What's this? That's our radio. Okay, and this is an operational radio. Well, right now, I think that one's dead because uh, we had the radio for our phones today. So this is a non-operational radio. Right, that's incorrect. If you turn them on with the battery, then they actually have a range of like, I don't remember what it is but you can communicate with each other inside the churches and stuff like that. On outside. What is this? Well, that's a empty pouch. For what? Well, usually I keep my gloves in there or my, my CPR mask. Okay. What else? Nothing. What is this designed for? Well, it's designed to hold whatever you want to put in it. Handcuffs, maybe? Handcuff case. What is this? Again, what are we talking about? Because you, you're telling me about your pouches here. Right, this is your glove pouch. I don't see any gloves in here. What I'm confused about is what are we talking about my duty belt for? So and you, with all due respect, and, and going on and on and on. Not that I'm trying to, you know, blow smoke up your ass or anything. You've always been very good, yeah. and I appreciate that. And I've always been respectful to you. Just like and, the time when we were on the side of the road and when I was acting like I was going to run for you, you're just playing around. And I respect that. And I respect what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I understand. But at the same time, you know I'm not doing what you guys are trying to say. When was the last time you saw Midler? 
sorry. When was the last time you saw Sorge and Vidler? Um, what? When was the last time you saw him that he was following you because he's obsessed with you? I don't know. I can't answer that question. But he's driving it unmarked, so I can't tell you. Uh, so there goes your theory. But you, on the other hand, are very obsessed with him because you put out videos where you do nothing but talk about him. Not at all. Not or, at all. or. I only talk about Steven Casey. Casey Miller. Yeah. What the? You gotta, you gotta do it, Steven Casey Miller. Hey, you know, I. I You're obsessed funny, with him. Too. Not at all. Not yeah. at all. What's funny is is uh. When you make all your videos just about them, that that's obsession. No, not at all. Okay. And, and Steven Casey Miller, I only did two videos about him. I, that, that was it. Only when you when you said he Actually, left. Actually, no, it was one. When you half. said he left. Uh, the state attorney's office because they were asking to do illegal things with your case. Right. That's not true. Did you say so? Well, I know it's not true. That's, so? that had, he, it had zero. I know you put it out there and try to tell everybody, but it had zero. You, you, you spin your story the way you want because you know probably nobody's going to come in and say something different. Uh, but so? it, it had zero to do with you. Now, we know there's a few people out there that can make Jeremy DeWitt squirm, including Vidler, Ramsey, and, of course his girlfriend Jennifer, which brings us to our number one video of Jeremy DeWitt being arrested for domestic violence, dating violence against his girlfriend Jennifer when he claims he never even touched her. Somebody attacked my cars and broke in to cut the tires and all that. And me and her were arguing about that. I didn't fucking touch her in any way, shape or form. You can look at my hands. Then how come we got calls about her not you not leaving her alone? She's walking, trying to walk away, and you just keep because pursuing her. I heard her on the phone call. So what did, call why are you pursuing call, her? You pursuing I, her? I, I called. I didn't pursue her. I called nine one one. I was talking. You didn't call nine one one. I did. Called nine one one. What are you talking about? Look at the dispatch. Well, so I called nine one one and told the dispatcher that she's calling and saying that I was. That I heard. Call and say don't come because. I I didn't. Swallowed. Wait a minute. I never said I didn't say. Sir, get off. Let me see if you need the phone. Get hey Rizzo, she's claiming 85, right? Yeah, we're, we're all looking for it. But she claimed down the, the line. I can say that's not what I, and I recorded the whole conversation. I never said cancel. All right, dude. Just being detained, all right? Come you're on, man. That's I didn't hit That's her. I just can being, show you listen. the camera. You're just being detained. Come on, Sergeant. I'm just letting you know what we're doing. I did touch her. Okay. Sort it all out. Stay here so I can... Stay here so I can lock these. The primary officer will come over here and sort it all out. Why did you... Can you listen to me? Please? Sergeant? Dude, I've been, I've been listening okay. to you for the past three She minutes. got in the car. I okay. told her she couldn't leave in my car since you she was quitting. You your side of the store okay. isn't going to help right now because I I don't know what... You're going to go do it one more time when she comes yeah. over here. Let her come out here, get your thoughts together, and then when she comes out, the primary officer will sort it out with you. I have nothing to do with All right? I didn't fucking touch her. This is... I didn't. And you're right. I should have never fucking trusted her again. You know, reasonable, prudent people aren't standing at railroad tracks arguing at nine at night. Yeah, because she's on the phone calling the police saying that I heard her and I didn't touch her. I heard what she was saying and I. Telling her that I didn't touch her. I, come JP on, man. On this is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy that officers have to be here and well, act I like adults. Because I adults agree. can't be adults or adults just walk away. I agree with you. I told her she needed to leave and not take the car. And she was trying to take the car and I told her no. And that was when she got out of the car and called 911 and said that she was in trouble. I have it on video. I started recording as soon as she threw the key at me. I didn't touch her, I didn't go near her. I was this far from her at all times. Are you hurt anywhere? Yeah, just my left knee. Your what? My, my left foot. It's, uh, it hurts. What That's happened all. to it? He slammed the door into my foot. Oh. Yeah, he said that um, she was getting in the car to, to leave, and then he came up. He knew that her foot was outside of the door, and he slammed the door into it. Oh, wow. You need to, you need to... All right, I need yes or no answers, okay? Do you have the right to remain silent? Do you understand? Yes. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. 
If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one will be provided for you for questioning without charge. Do you understand? Okay. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. Okay. So what what happened? We, Start from the beginning. She just got angry because somebody called me. I don't. It was my bank. Okay. And because it was a female that called me, she heard a female talking over the phone. Okay. She just started freaking out. She's like, why are you taking a phone call from a female? I was like, I didn't know who they were. Mm -hmm. So then she started arguing. With me. And I was like, but you don't have to be here. So she just grabbed her stuff and went outside. But then she went to get in the car. I was like, you can't, if you're quitting, you can't take our cruiser home. You mm -hmm. can't take our car. If you're quitting, you got it. I'm sorry. I'll give you a ride. I'll, I'll, you can get an Uber. But this is a car she frequently uses. It's a company car. Okay. So if she's quitting, she's no longer part of the company. Mm -hmm. Just like if you get terminated, you can't take your car home. Mm -hmm. So she was going on and on and on. And then she opened the door and slammed the door, opened the door, slammed the door. I didn't touch the door. So then I said, I need the keys. She opened the door, slammed the door. I wasn't blocking the car. I wasn't mm. standing near the car. I was just a little further back than you because the door kept opening and closing and she had the window. Open. So then she opened the door, the door kind of bumped me, but it didn't hit me. And so she shut the door. When she shut the door that time, it hit her foot. I didn't touch the door. Okay, so she shut the door. You didn't shut the door. Well, she was pulling on it. And okay. It pulled and hit her door. Her 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 bag was in the way, and then her bag moved out of the way and it hit her foot because she had her bag. She had that big bag wherever that is in her hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then she gets out of the car and she's like, "Why are we arguing? Why are we fighting?" She's going on and on. I was like, "Okay." So I was like, you can't take the car though. So she takes the key and throws it at me. When she does that, I start recording right away and she starts walking away. And this is after the whole car door slam fiasco? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, Then she walked away. And while she's walking away, I hear her call 911. So I start recording immediately with my phone. Mm -hmm. And she's on the phone with the police. But I can hear her talk, talking to, I can tell what she's saying to OPD mm -hmm. or to 911. I don't know what she's saying exactly. If you know what I'm trying to say, I can just tell by the excitement in the voice. I was like, okay. So I came over here. I was like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. Why are you calling? I didn't touch you. I didn't come near you. And she's like, uh, then she was over here and this guy was here. I never crossed the street. I never went near her. I never went after her. I never, I only walked here because I could hear her talking on the phone. It hit my knee and I just, I pushed it back like that. I can show you, I, I can, I can show you. Okay. And her bag was in the way and she was pulling on the door and that big bag, that big fucking like, it's a weird looking like print bag, wherever that is. And she was pulling on the door and then she pulled the bag at the same time because the door couldn't shut and mm -hmm. the door then hit her foot. Okay. Okay. Just sit tight. Okay, if you want the window to roll down, we can roll the window down for you. Did you tell her you were transporting me? Ma'am? Like I said, there's still officers with her on scene. But if she refused to write a statement and she refused to press charges, why am I being transported? Like I already stated, she does not have to write a physical statement. Everything we do is recorded. But I didn't touch her. How am I being arrested if I didn't touch her? This is
fucking bullshit. As you know, this is how a lot of the Jeremy DeWitt stories end with him saying this is BS and with him being arrested. Those two things make for a Jeremy DeWitt ending like we've never seen before. Or actually, we have seen it over and over and over and over. These have been some of my most 20 top memorable incidences of Jeremy DeWitt that I've seen over the last 12 months. Did I forget any that you can think of? Why don't you comment it in the comments down below and let me know. Maybe there's a part two due for this video of the lost moments that police tube has forgotten or something. I don't know. I do appreciate you watching this. I hope you've enjoyed the Jeremy DeWitt nonsense. I sure do know that I have. This is crazy. I didn't and you know I'm not going anywhere. I will be right here. But let me say, as always, make sure you have yourself a great day. And I'm going to put my phone number up on the screen because I want you guys to take a moment right now. Let's just pause for a few moments. I want you guys to pick up your phones and give me a call and let me know what you're thinking right now. It's my 1-800 toll-free police tube hotline. The number's on the screen, 1-800-480-8797. Just take a few minutes. I'm just going to keep some stuff going here so you guys can let me know what you think.